Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be going into the best teams and equipments that you can build for the new Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now I'm recording this prior to him coming out so what I will say just to preface there'll probably be one or two new equipments that drop that could be also very much game changing so just take a look out for those but I also have to say because of the proud battle going on right now I kind of have to split this video into two pieces so teams that you would regularly use and teams that you use for proud battle so the video might be a bit longer but it's time stamped so it's easy to navigate regardless that's just something you guys should note before you get further into the video that's enough talking for me this guy is cracked you guys already know that let's get into the video man okay so the first team we've got is hybrid saiyans only naturally because ultra super saiyan 2's gohan's ultra ability is for hybrid saiyans we've got him here outside of proud battle red red green green red red he's green just so you guys know we've got him having one zenkai buff we've got beast red beast and pan having two zenkai buffs for both of them and on top of that red pan i believe is a hp buffer so it works very well on top of the fact we already have ultra super saiyan 2 gohan on the leader slot now looking at the team i think it's the best team because gohan covers the two reds because green beats blue and blue beats red so you need a green to beat the blues which would beat the reds so you cover yourself very very well by running this type of team and i honestly think it's the best variation of hybrid saints you could run pan is the support and you've got two great offensive units on your team of course one being the ultra and one being this legend limited now you can switch out some zenkai buffers so i'm gonna go into character list and i've already set it to hybrid saiyan i already got on sparking and ultra now if you want to swap out instead have this trunks his z ability is worse but he is another zenkai buffer for hybrid saiyans so you could use him as well or you could take great saiyan in one and two because they zenkai buff i believe sagas from the movies and they're also a hybrid saiyan z ability buffer so it works well for pan and beast gohan if you want to consider that moving forward we've got other units you could use sort of hope trunks blue beast of course they are good units but they're the only other good blues i'd recommend i wouldn't recommend any green because you're going to be using ultra super saiyan 2 gohan then if we're going into purple bullet is a very very good option that you could use as well i didn't mention her but that's because pan and red beast just work way better together and you got the cover by the green but of course bullet is super super good and if you're really struggling rev han could be useful but i wouldn't recommend it even at 14 stars going into yellow i wouldn't really recommend a yellow but if you really want to use one gold tanks is probably the best option and you can maybe sneak in future gohan pan as well but i don't want to use a yellow full stop because there's too, too many good reds and then of course i've already cho chosen all of the reds pan and beast gohan so ideally outside of proud battle this would be your ideal team if you're running hybrid saiyans they're the first team i'm going to mention we got hybrid saiyans now we got hybrid saiyans but if you're going to be running them in proud battle i'd run this so you've got one zenkai buff available for pan and red beast because heat dome trunks is on the team but you also got a second support which would be bulla and then blue beast is also a good offensive option but if you didn't want to use him you could use sort of hope trunks now obviously the leader slot would be ultra super saiyan 2 gohan and there's not much more to say i'd say it's pretty much a fixed team i tried to look at substitutes and really and truly the only substitute would be sort of hope trunks which is not on the team right now everybody else is pretty much useless i'm not going to lie i'd say this would be the most ideal team that you'd want to use if you wanted to run hybrid saiyans for the proud battle because it's a fixed team where all the z abilities all the equipments are going to mesh perfectly and you've got six units that you could actually bring into the field to do crazy damage so yeah that would be hybrid saints if you wanted to participate in proud battle there's not much more going into it but i think it's the most ideal team where everybody pretty much helps everybody in the most efficient manner right so now we got team number two and if you had a keen eye you would know that hybrid saints is also unironically son family now this is just one version of some family you could actually run i know i do have trunks on the bench but you could just swap them out for great serum in one and two and then it becomes full sun family regardless but i wasn't actually being serious this is just an actual variation of some family you could run because it's basically the same team i guess the equipments will just be different but i don't know why you'd want to swap the equipments i i believe in as well the hybrid saying equipments are actually better but going into sun family i guess we have this variation as well so Bardock and Goku made the team, Pan's also on the team but more so because of her Z ability, her Z ability is actually really really good, you see 20% to episode targets on the movies or hybrid saiyan max base health which is dope and then of course you get the plus 20% to base critical for Sun family which is dope. So she's going to be giving HP to Beast 
and then of course Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because they're on the leader slot but Beast is sucks for the movie even though Bardock and Goku aren't but that's also why Pan is an option on the team but Bardock and Goku is obviously a good Sun family unit which is why you'd want to use them but they're not getting the HP buff because they aren't uh sucks from the movies or hybrid Saiyan so just be aware of that of course you could do different things with this team so you don't have to have Pan you could obviously go for more Zenkai buffs so Depending on how you want it to work it, you've got to consider the fact that you're switching between hybrid Saiyans and Sun Family, so you kind of need specific Sun Family. If you wanted to use UI instead of one of these guys, so for example, if I swap out if I swap out uh, Beast Gohan for UI, right, I could put Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then Sun Family is going through and through. Of course, the leader slot is empty because that would be the main position for the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, so just bear that in mind. In this case, you'd be running green green yellow but you also have the blue because of bardock and goku switch but then there's a lot of options you could consider because once you consider sun family you're adding all the other gokus into the mix outside of hybrid saiyans so let's look at what we have we've got beast gohan we've got bardock and goku we've got bombku very good options there three straight away in the blue obviously your green option would be the ultra super saiyan 2 gohan but just to mention some rev sign at 14 star just because he dodges i think it's good and the revival layer outside of that I like to use Tag Force, but I'm not going to push them. So I really just stick with Rev Sign. Maybe Evo can sneak. Just putting it out there. Going into purple, go Freezer. Obviously a good option. And maybe just UI because he's able to dodge. But that's about it. And then in yellows, besides from UI, I would not recommend using one on Sun Family. Then red would obviously be Beast and Pan. Red, Beast and Pan. So you've got quite a few options for Sun Family. I'm not going to lie. But it really just depends on who you want to use. Which would alter how you're going to build your team. So it's down to preference and what you have. If it was me, I would really just stick to what Hybrid Saiyans has because it's still Sun Family. It's exactly the same team. You just really swap out the bench and then Grey Saiyan 1 and 2 would fit in. But really and truly, it just changes accordingly because of the Proud Battle system. If it's not Proud Battle, then how I'm building the teams would obviously work. So yeah, that's number two. We got Sun Family. But the main three, if you wanted to use them, I'd say obviously the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Bardock and Goku, UI. Goku, Pan, and Beast. Here we have Sun Family. If you wanted to run them in Proud Battle, you need all six units. So we got Ultra UI on the leader slot, right? Only naturally, I don't think I put him on the leader slot on the previous team, which you should do. It'd be better off to have him on the leader slot over the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because he wouldn't be getting anything due to his uh, ability where it's Universe Rep, the Ultra ability. But if you put Gohan out of the leader slot he would still get some of his ultra ability because Red Beast and Pan are on the team so how I've tried to fix this is to have three te two teams obviously so you'd have your hybrid Saiyan team which would be uh, red red green where you cover the, the reds because blue beats red but green beats blue so ultra super Saiyan 2 Gohan would be here but then you have two blues and a green with UI on the other team so it'd be UI ultra UI Bardock and Goku Bomku then it'd be Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Beast Gohan, and Pan. And then the third team, you can bring accordingly how you want to bring them, and it would still work very, very effectively. That would be my most ideal Sun Family team. I tried to look at other options, and if I change the settings now to just show you. So if I go to Sun Fam, where is it? There it is. If I go to Sun Fam, I don't think there was much options that I could swap out. For example, Beast, if you have him like high stars, you could bring him maybe. For green, I wouldn't recommend really. I spoke about Rev Sign just because of his revival, but I wouldn't recommend Go Freeze if you have him high stars, maybe. 4Q could be a good support and he can save you only once because it's Sun Family and not GT. And outside of that, he's Zenkai buffs UI. But then again, you'd lose a space on the ultra ability for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan just to put that out there. And the reds, I've already snagged everybody. So yeah, I'd pretty much say this is what a Sun Family team would look like if you wanted to run the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan within Proud Battle. We gotta get into some equipments now. The first equipment I'm gonna show you is Unleash Your True Power. This is an equipment for Sun Family. You get base strike defense and base blast defense, but you also get pure blast attack and pure strike attack. 12% for having three Sun Family members on your team. The requirements is Sun Family, and you can get this from the dual coin shop. It's very valuable if you're going to be running Sun Family. This, I could say, is also a must-have, potentially. You get base strike defense on the first slot, special move and ultimate damage on the second slot. He has two ultimates, by the way. Then you also get blast attack on the third slot, which is very, very helpful. So just naturally, you're getting a lot from this, and it even has Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on 
the front. How you can get this though, the ultimate equipment collection for the normal Cell Saga Z. A hybrid Saiyan must have, awakened triple exclamation mark number one. You get base strike defense, but you get 8% pure strike and blast attack for each hybrid Saiyan on your team. This is a must run for hybrid Saiyans. So you're going to be getting a whole 24% pure, which no other team has an equipment that reaches this high of pure. 16 would be two members, 24 would be three. So obviously this is the awakened, so you get that from the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush. But if you want the unawakened, you go to your characters, equipment, then you want to go to the archive, then you can change the filter at the top to what you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for hybrid saying, and you're going to see the unawakened version right on the screen. Let me just adjust my eyes right there. You can see triple exclamation mark hybrid saying, you can get it from the equipment collection for normal hybrid sayings The eliminate the earthlings event. You also got the nap of the cruel Z medals and equipment medals. This equipment here is super, super tough. I want to fight exclamation mark. You get base blast defense up to 18% but you could also get that strike defense depending on which one you want. Then if you go to the middle slot, you get special move 12.5% and ultimate damage, which is super, super good at max. And you also get 12.5% base health. That's if you want, ideally it's what you want. Regen characters are not that common. So get the health on the last slot as well. It's specifically for hybrid Saiyans and how you can get this is from the equipment collection for normal hybrid Saiyans. I've seen this equipment recently and it's quite budget, but it's super good for it just being a gold. It can actually compete with some of the platinums, I'm not gonna lie. So the first slot, unfortunately you only get key recovery, but it's the second slot and the third slot. So the second slot, you can choose between blast attack and strike attack, depending on what role you get. Then on the third slot, you get special move damage and health restoration, which is good because this guy has endurance. He's gonna gain, I believe it's 40%, but if you have health restoration, you'll get way more than that. So that's good. Well, not specifically, but you know how I, what I mean. You basically just heal more and he consistently heals more as well. So it would help overall when using the unit. Special move damage as well is always good as well. Cell Saga Z right there at the bottom and how you can get this is from the Z Metal Shop. Now, just in the scenario you really wanted to build him defensively, this equipment works for Son family members. You get base strike attack, or you could get blast attack depending on which role you get on the first slot just to put that out there then on the second slot you get strike defense and pure strike defense when there's a saiyan battle member so ideally on sun family and the conditions are also sun family but then on the third slot he's a hybrid saiyan so he'd apply it for himself you get base blast defense but pure blast defense so on this middle slot it was pure strike defense the third slot pure blast defense for hybrid saiyans up to 12 percent for both of those as you can see and how you can get this is from the dual coin shop that's going to be it for the video just to put out again it's very likely that they're going to drop a new platinum equipment alongside maybe a new awakened equipment considering it's wednesday so just put that out there and i believe ultra space time rush resets so that would be another factor for why they would do those things so it's very likely that there'll be better equips available maybe one or two that i don't have in this video because i recorded this prior but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully it was helpful it could help you prep if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for watching, man. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.